Clippers they get into this round. Doing the 2-3 split towards A. Looks like they are going to keep that spike just back a little bit here. Beautiful 3 to start, but Nitro's coming up huge with that ghost to start. Looks like it's a real quick... Fitted though, so now it's just down to isolating Seb, it kind of feels like. He's stuck underneath in hell. The tag comes out. This should be a free kill on the Seb, and it is now just down to Vice 1v3. Lots of time to play with, and the spike's still on hand, but seems pretty persistent about trying to find some eliminations over through this A site. Yeah, he sees two, figures the third will be there. Frenzy. Out the healing ward from Ye. And actually, I think he gets denied from the channel of it. So now his Seb will fall. Oh, troubling position starting to come through. Steel's going to find the elimination in response with the Nano Swarm. So we go into a 4v4 situation. Recon Bolt will keep Steel honest in the middle. Boyd trying to push a little bit extra forward. But assistance from Ye to cause a bit of time here for the spike hit. Keep in mind, Hiko's not around anymore. So the ability for 100 Thieves to find... Intel is going to be absolutely limited, but maybe it wouldn't matter. Asuna finds one. Now the entrance from the staircase is going to be even trades, and Ethan's <gasps> able to take the double at Be aggressive if they if they get a hold of something here. Yeah, it's a beautiful oh, first scary. one. Yeah, it's Steel oh. who finds the cues out of it. So 100, 100 Thieves are doing such a great job at stalling out any initials on the other side by the push of Asuna or whoever else. And yeah, boy, doing a nice job of starting one off as they gain some ground. Shock Dart comes through. Oh my not god. Not gonna nice connect. Way. Here's the angle. Not gonna find the shot. Nice to get this Hunter's Fury online. It's a pivotal gun round coming through. Steel with the operator. Yep. This is not always actually gonna be actually feel like, okay, we've done enough to move the defense around. Let's try to make a play quickly over to three. Ethan denies for one. Not gonna find a second. That would be the A site completely open for the taking for ABX. Great trades as they catch a bit of 100 thieves and rogues. God, so careful here. There's still an opportunity, uh, but the wide peak. Hunter's Fury is even going to be pulled out here as well. Ethan trying to use that. No, that will not be the case. Mata now moving yeah, forward. Actually, the down does get destroyed, but Mata's still moving quickly knows. forward. The trades will be there. Curveball up top. Eco has stayed alive and found elimination. That'll keep things contested. We go to a 2v2 situation. Steel and Hiko have successfully held off this execute, and oh, Mata almost gets caught with his blaze wall. Takes out the weapon, refine, and this hot hands is becoming a huge deterrent. Flash comes through, but it completely misses Asuna. He finds the first. Now through the slow orb, Nitro gets the second. You gotta keep in mind, look how quickly 100T is moving on over. Do they even need to rotate over? Asuna's doing so much, but just in the nick of time, and Box will get the spike planted. Turret goes out real quick. That could detect right away. Shot down immediately, and they start to trade. He's the last one left alive. Not gonna find anything in Golden Brazen, to be sure. Did he get the self-sustain off the hot hands? Blaze wall to block the defensive spawn. But you have to get through, Hiko. Oh, boy. And how good have the LMG plays been from 100 T? Oh, way to plant. There's the flash. Austin at a challenge. Should have a free bird. Those rounds of chaos. So many different angles created. Nitro pushing through a blind. Here for ABX. And, well, they want us to try to stack at least initially over towards B. And this has been exactly where Hiko has been favoring. Although this time, again, that play with elevation. Oh. There's the collapse. You Steel for two, it. gets himself a third, oh. and the attacking lockdown is essentially going to do absolutely nothing to at least stall off the defensive pressure. Sure, the spike will still go down, but this is a difficult 2v4. I, honestly, I thought this was going to be an off versus off game, possibly. Yay, he's coming out. Just missed Nitro's there for that one. They're on the Aries, a few different buys around a Spectre because Steel's there, and they just rinse and repeat as his signature darts come up so they can always know what's going down in B main. They've held it off there, and a few frags over towards A. It leaves Vice. What's to do? They're setting up for it, and there it is. It will go over the top. So the commitment's still coming through. And Anbox, they were in a position to get this bike planted. Nitro is actually delaying his play through B main. So as Hiko finds one, this is still very doable. Hiko's going to find a second. Nitro from behind pinching finds one more. So now even numbers 2v2. Hiko oh. for three. It's just down to one. They're playing with confidence still, too. We saw Asuna with a second round Phantom there. And only being a few rounds up on Anbox. And that could change things. We saw Anbox grab a thrifty earlier. Oh, Mata holding down the trigger. Needs to get a headshot here. Steel going to collect the AR. I think you just saw Seb think of the same thing as he to get back in. Here it comes. Okay, that's just an information just so Hiko knows exactly where to throw these darts. And oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? Gets Vice off the floor. Steel finding another. Ye up top, responding to one. But Hiko's going to come right on in behind Mata, leaving Ye by themselves. 1v2, and Nitro is behind him. He could isolate. <gasps> There's one. Maybe one more up top. Does he recognize Nitro's up top? 
I don't know, it might, might not make a difference. There's not enough time for a defuse. Oh. Anyways, Nitro is just going with them. The force buy situation here. There are a couple of ARs that are earned, but he goes so good with those shock darts, making sure that inbox's tactical retreat was always contested. Yay, mid market. Denied by Blazewall. Also could not fully see the backside of Ethan. Utility being spent to try to stall this, but using the wall to get over the top is 100 Thieves. And they are in a position to be on, but Vice lining up Ooh. too. Boy finds the third. Asuna is through, but I don't know if he's in a position he really wants to be. Just down the Hiko. 1v4 situation, and he's got no spikes to play with. Find the first, gets the second. Hiko, what in the world? Now a 1v2 all of a sudden. He is low, but has utility to play with. Here coming into <laughs> round 20, shift. It starts off on Cat once again. Not bad. Aggression through the middle. Using the Hunter's Fury as well to clear a little bit of space. But Asuna coming back. Had to run it back to play with. It's going to come through to deny the second peak of which. Ooh. Gay's not there by themselves. Boys also. Shift. Oh, the <gasps> tag. No he way. Goes straight no into way. the Hunter's Fury. Vice will fall. Yay tagged up. Mata's looking to respond by moving aggressively. And boy, has he. He's actually taken Hiko completely unawares. So after all this opening engagement, we were left. We wanted to go. And now it's up to Mata and Boy to retake. Save that. Now just down to Mata. The lockdown will force him to likely have to play aggressively to delete this. And that's not what you want. Decides against it. Just one curveball to work with. And over the top, Ooh. Ethan, a beautiful... Well, because I remember hearing Shazam say in different tournaments, you know, it got kind of close there at the end. I believe it was even an Ascent map. And they're like, no, they didn't even get to double-digit rounds, right? I think they took him at eight or nine. But it always, from our, you know, from this point of view. Interesting setup coming forward. Ah, uh, Ethan's gonna get caught out here. You would feel like he will be. Asuna does well to find not just one, but a second and a third. Oh, the, the fuse coming through. Oh, oh, dink, dink. This has been quite a start for them to get this round back on a thrifty. Here it goes. A lot of information, though, from Nitro. The flash hits a little bit harder. Yay, Seb, finding oh a couple of Asians. It's just down to Hiko. He does have two shock darts to play with. Knows exactly where that spike is planted, just in front of Yellow. Has to find the first elimination here cleanly, and does. But now going to the frenzy, finds a second, not going to get... Looks like that's going to be Asuna who wants to take the top side of the puzzle here. They go over, Seb is ready. Oh, he's uh, ready. just in the nick of time. Is he ready? Because <laughs> looks away at the wrong moment. 3v3 situation. Seekers will come through for Boy. That will find a lot of information, but through the dark cover, Ethan for one, Ethan for a second. Vice now the last player left. He is fully healthy and has put the spike down. Finds one elimination. He can play for the clock here if he wants to. Down to a single shot. Eco moving quickly. Goes for the plant. Vice wants to take away the high ground. Yeah, but he gets red. But they're looking good after a few consecutive rounds here. And the team comes right out and everybody sets up for the shots. So this would be a round for Viper's Pit to come in very, very big for the side 100 Thieves. If they can keep him up, it's out. And they aren't going to have very much that'll be able to find out what's inside that pit. Mata taking a few down as they make their chances a little greater. Ooh. A beautiful little surrounding play here from the side of Anbox. They've got a lot of utility to try to clear out this Viper's pit. Including, boy, who could come through maybe even flash for the retake of it. Mata up top. He can play around this. There's the guiding light. Oh, now you're going to go baby. to the showstopper. Just trying to see if you can find anybody. It will find Nitro. Steal with a couple of eliminations. But 100 Thieves. That, that could be a play. And now it's on the Yay. Trying to hold their life through back yellow. Recon Bolt will give away the position, but still finds one. That's on the spike carrier. And now Mata has rotated over. And Box, how are you holding this? Things have been beautiful for them so far. Good exchanges coming through, but Steel to the middle of the map. Freely able to open up a little bit extra space. But it does still, at the end, come down to Steel. 1v3 and nowhere near the spike. Some of my favorite plays. But this time he's going to be tagged up. Hunter's Fury coming down. Hiko hits one. Darts like that just cause an eye chaos, right? It bounces so much, hits real quick, and then you're not even sure where it is to shoot it. Gets a ping off on. Hanoi, though, will connect. Spam shots. Oh, boy. Where are you going to go? Not many opportunities to get out of this one. Going to have to take the fight. And as he does, he falls. And, boy, looking for some bonus kills. Not going to find anything either. It'll be a thrift. Out here, back to a bit of guns on both sides. And aggression through mid or through green off the defense, but the one spot that they've been largely overwhelmed has been over here towards A. And the regrowth yeah. will come through to get Ye back up to full HP as he finds an elimination with the operator. So 100 Thieves again caught in a weird spot. Seekers will scout a lot of this. What I just said is without that turret there, look at this flank. Without that sentinel behind, without everything that they control in mid, Anbox gets to run over the strategy. They started off. Find the elimination. Mata has to back down to the Leer. 
And 100 Thieves again through the middle of the map, making their play over towards B, but Mata has learned his lesson. Holds this push responsible. Boy through the middle of the map, also able to find one. The second. Wedge shaken off for map two of Icebox. Nitro able to find one, almost a second. Or on uh, the original agents, I should say. They're used to playing. It changes here. You might not be ready for the fastest instant. That's where they're taking advantage of the side of Ambox here. Mata able to get. This is all about timing. He's playing a corner that you wouldn't normally expect. Finds one, but now a little bit caught off. Need to get this trick. Comes the take. Oh. Snake bite to come down. That will find a bit of damage. Everyone's low, but Boy still finds the first elimination. Hiko playing slowly, waiting for the next tag. Recon Bolt to come through. We'll find information on Bolt. Gets the first. Knows that the second's around the corner, and Hiko! Cut! And you're seeing that there is a rotation from Boy, but he knows he's got to be careful. A kitchen, the shots, a little windy inside, apparently. So now as Seb is going to be tested, as he's the furthest one forward through green, Ethan's already through kitchen. It just feels like 100 Thieves are setting up Hell's Kitchen back here. I mean, Mata's going to even go even the step out, but he'll still take these shots where you don't. So it's going to be a lockdown on top of it. the Viper's Pit, hoping to push him out. Country Turret also down. Vice is going to push through this, it looks like. He's got to make a decision. Technically, you could try to finesse through this Viper's Pit, but he's going to get <gasps> caught, and he's detained in a terrible position. Here comes 100T. Boy's able to respond to one up close. Vice staying alive all the meanwhile. Seekers are even actually able to push back 100 Thieves a bit. Resurrection also comes through freely. Hiko, last one now left alive. Everything's gone wrong here for 100 Thieves and Decay down to a single point of stack up from both teams. Largely focused mid-map. Dark cover will be the only thing that separates them. Ethan's already inside of it. We'll find one. Fall. Boy looking for a second. And boy, was he find it. But Asuna from behind, not going to find anything. So opening engagements oh. looking very good up the top. Like gets planted. Aldron was still banked up. And oh my goodness, 100 Thieves are going to find so much information off of this. Awesome is going to come through mid to clear things up. And Box are a little bit stuck. White is going to have to do something special and maybe he just does enough. Finding a couple of eliminations. It's boy for a 1v2. No weapon advantage, but he does have a health pool advantage overall. Long range shots, beautiful on the boy. And now a second oh. gets Nitro from Bo Push forward, but does not have wow. an opportunity to capitalize on the angle. Guiding light to push them back in place. Finds first blood. A huge engagement favoring and box through the middle of the map. And with that extra kill off screen towards the A. In from 100 Thieves slowly happening. Boy with a great spot. It's going to be the A or air. Be able to freely rotate in. Toggle for the diffuse. Beautiful read, but a vice response. Now it's down to Hiko. Finds the first. 1v1. Boombot needs to be destroyed. Hiko again, toggling for the spike. Gets the information on where vice is planted, but he's got more snake bites to play with. Now has to hold it. Not going to get an opportunity. Vice, easy. Third. Stayed alive and completely concealed. Got the operator. Just switches off, but finds the kill on Amada. And look at the information. With that, now all of a sudden, 100 Thieves have rotated quickly over to me. Nitro and Ethan for a couple. That will actually deny the plant. Pulling away from it is Ye, and as he does, finds two good eliminations. Boy looking for information off the Trailblazer, but is the last one left alive for a 1v3. And is caught in a very weird spot through these containers. Not going to expect Nitro is away. Aldrone will not see too much. Said, though, still caught. One exchange will be there, but the number is favoring 100 Thieves defense. Just trying to get info everywhere. Coming up with trades. I think they're realizing now that Ambox is playing a little safer, so they're able to get these pushes while they're still in their in their spawn. Honestly, when when a team is pushed, Box trying to stave off hundred thieves oh. who are coming back ever so slowly. Another push. Oh, the collapse! It's not gonna to be execute. The only thing that's really kind of off kilter for this execute overall is said, but he gets found and simultaneously still finds elimination. So now the numbers flip the opposite way. Numbers advantage here for hundred thieves. Hiko still has a recon bolt as he earns it, and a shock dart to work with, but not even going to need it because... So as inbox rotate through tube up the kitchen, Nitro already ready for it, also know an opposite angle, locking things down, Void does trade, and gets through, Nitro with a couple of shots, not going to get the better of Seb, so hold on a second here, 3v3 situation, health pools are abbreviated across the board, but the one player that's fully healthy is Hiko, uses the shock dart to his advantage, takes down Boy. Next one coming through. Hiko just spamming through the toxic screen. Finds this second time becoming has a problem. Seb has to plant. Like mentioned, the paranoia will come through. And Showstopper going to come through quickly for Mata. Right Ooh. on in. Finds one. No problem. A little bit of self damage, but you'll be okay. But Asuna stays alive. No, Mata turns onto him. A beautiful second kill. Even though Nitro has the exchange, the Seekers 
will force him to give up some of the slide. And Hiko is going to go right into a Hunter's Fury. He's going to oh. connect again, but this time on to Ye. Oh, he was only one away from being able to grab a resurrection, but that will be off the table. 3v3. Have to hold on to this post planet for unbox. That Trailblazer alerts Nitro, one is inside, Sky tries to get away, Hiko drops Sab in the instant, Hiko with the three, Hiko looking for a fourth, and they're gonna pressure down how long it needs to last, where it needs to go, right? It, all of it's kind of 